Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, dear student, uh, welcome to the online classes. Uh, today we'll start our next um, topic that is associated with joint stock company. Uh, so far we have discussed uh, two different type of business organization, uh, sole proprietorship uh, and partnership. Today we'll, we will be discussing uh, the joint stock company. Now, a joint stock uh, company, uh, when we talk about a joint stock company, uh, actually a joint stock company is a company in which there are um, um, lots of investors and uh, um, the main, uh, the main uh, significant factor of a joint stock company is that uh, these owners are not actually running the business. Uh, the management and the owners are different and um, the owners contribute their capital, invest, uh, investors uh, contribute their capital and they get uh, shares in uh, exchange of uh, money they uh, put into the business. Secondly, um, in the meeting, they can uh, select the management and this management is responsible for running all the affairs of the uh, business. Uh, adjourned stock companies in Pakistan are formed under the Companies Act 1984. And um, obviously, I have told you that uh, it's an association of person for making profit. And uh, these person contribute capital. And these ca this capital is uh, contributed uh, in small portion. Like there are, there are many investors and all investors come up with small investment. All this investment is pooled up and, uh, this, um, uh, and the management actually use this capital in order to run all the affairs of the business. There are many advantages associated of uh, associated with joint joint stock company uh, because uh, when we uh, talk about joint stock company um, we um, we have lots of investor and the com uh, and mostly these joint stock company are formed in a case when it, when lots of money is needed and a large case business has to be started so um, in this case uh, at any time when the business need uh, money uh, so they can uh, issue their shares and expand their business by getting uh, money from the investors Secondly, uh, there are there are different uh, credit facility available for joint stock company. Firstly, uh, as a bank has a, a legal entity, so they can uh, get loan from bank. They can also get uh, credit facility from their suppliers. They can also get um, credit uh, by issuing different type of uh, bonds. Like bond is a type of uh, security which is issued, and it is a debt security. And uh, the uh, the uh, the uh, the a company has to pay interest on these securities just like shares these are being issued by the company but a share are actually equity instrument like in this case when you issue in share you become the owner of that business or investor of that business but in when you um, invest in bond uh, you become the creditor and actually you um, uh, you are giving money to the company and and, in, uh, and as lending them and um, in exchange you will be getting interest on that uh, bond uh, and the next advantage is that um, uh, the joint stock company uh, can, can be helpful in generating more capital um, like I have discussed before that uh, the capital can be generated from um, issuing shares, uh, the capital can be generated from bo borrowed capital can be generated from um, bonds or you can go to the bank and get uh, 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 get a debt, a debt from the bank or that would be actually a borrowed capital but that capital can be used in um, financing different activity or activities of the uh, business and obviously when you are doing business on a large scale um, the, the company is in a position to earn more profit and this profit can be re can be reinvested in the business and um, which uh, which result in the ex expansion in the scale of business as you have lots of finances finances available um, in a form of profit in a form of debt in a form of uh, investment so the company is in a position to expand its its activities on a large scale another advantage of a joint stock company is that it has a limited liability 
uh, when we compare it with a uh, partnership and a sole proprietorship uh, we discuss that uh, the, uh, the both type of business organization have unlimited liabilities but in the case of a joint stock company the liability is only and only uh, limited to the amount of um, the amount of investment the person has made or the value of shares you have purchased in the business so the main advantage of joint stock company is that it has a limited liability and another thing which is very important is that uh, in case of a person a one person dies or leaves leaves the country is not it does not have any impact on the business like in case of sole proprietorship and in uh, partnership both the cases uh, the, uh, the death of person or uh, the missing of a person or leaving the person from the country has uh, has a, has a impact like um, in sole proprietorship a person dies so obviously the per, uh, the uh, uh, the business uh, is uh, um, cannot be run properly or and uh, obviously in case of partnership uh, the f partnership deed uh, has to be renewed when uh, the person dies or um, uh, or he, he has uh, many other options so but in the case of um, a joint stock company um, it, it doesn't have any impact on the operations of the business and uh, um, um, in this case we can say the life of the joint stock company is longer than sole proprietorship and partnership and another thing which is very important is that you can easily transfer the rights of um, your um, rights of your um, uh, business to any person like uh, when you are um, you're not satisfied with the working of your company so you can easily g uh, go and sell your shares in the uh, stock market but it's also very important that um, you can uh, uh, when there is um, uh, the company is not doing properly so it would be difficult for you to sell your share but uh, in case um, you need uh, money or in case when you are um, you are in uh, in, uh, in short of finance or you need money uh, so you can sell your shares in the uh, stock market and uh, get your money back uh, but it doesn't have any uh, impact on the operation of business then a company can hire better expert which result in better management as the people who have invested in the business are not the people who are running the business uh, but the people who the, the, uh, the there is a board of director who is uh, actually responsible for running the affairs of the business so the company always want to hire uh, the experts which have um, education skill experience in specific field like if you want to hire a person for a mark for your marketing activities so obviously you'll go for a person uh, which have ex education skills and experience in that field so is the case with accounting finance and many other uh, field of the business so in uh, um, in joint stock company uh, the we have uh, expert people running the business and they can do the business in a better way as compared to uh, the people um, doing all the activities themselves like in the case of sole proprietorship and partnership and um, the public place more confidence in the company rather than in any other form of business like um, all the public limited company or the joint stock companies are listed on the stock exchange and all the activities of these companies are being uh, governed by uh, securities exchange commission that is actually the body which regulate all the activities of these companies and in that case they have to uh, show publicly all their financial reports all their information uh, like their income state um, their uh, their um, uh, balance sheet, all the activities and profit and loss statement, all the uh, like uh, have activities in the form of annual report. They have to um, uh, show it publicly, and they have to be audited before um, uh, um, externally and internally before um, making it public. So obviously, uh, the people have confidence in those businesses because uh, these are being regulated properly regulated, and. Any anyone can exit from joint stock company by selling his or her share. So, so you you are not bound by the uh, by uh, the company. As um, if you need money or if you want to uh, sell your shares, you can sell these shares in the uh, uh, stock exchange and exit from the joint stock company. But as any other form of uh, businesses, there are many disadvantages associated of joint stock company. Like first disadvantage is that 
that uh, the formation of joint stock company is very lengthy and very complicated and very technical job uh, like you have to be uh, you have to perform many uh, documentation activities you have to uh, fulfill all the legal requirement of the uh, registration uh, like a memorandum of association article of association you have to develop a prospectus of the company and you have to um, you have to make a proper planning and everything should be um, should be uh, in detail and you have to put uh, you have to um, um, fill all these things and uh, after that you will be you will get uh, the registration for um, joint stock company and another aspect or another disadvantage which is um, uh, associated with a joint stock company is that um, as owner and uh, management is different the people who has invested money in the business are not the people who are running the business so there is lack of interest because the management is running the business they are doing, they are doing their job they are concerned with the salaries they get they are not more much concerned with the profit they generate because these profit um, uh, contribute in the wealth of uh, shareholders so there uh, is a lack of interest um, between uh, lack of interest of management because their money is not involved and uh, there is not much uh, secrecy found in companies like in case of uh, sole proprietorship and in partnership uh, the secret of the business uh, confined with the um, uh, with few people but as there are many people working in the uh, joint stock company so um, the much of the secret is uh, secret much secrecy is not um, um, uh, maintained and uh, all the um, information is um, is mostly uh, sh shared publicly uh, and companies pays double taxation to the government it's another uh, the double taxation is a, a major disadvantage of joint stock company because um, uh, the company um, has to pay taxes after declaring declaration of its profit and once this um, uh, declaration of the profit they have to uh, distribute a dividend among it their shareholders and then uh, when uh, the shareholders um, um, uh, file their tax returns uh, they have to show that uh, they get this amount of money income from this dividend so uh, or they ha also have to pay taxes on those dividends dividends so in that case we can say that in joint stock company uh, the the dividend uh, is double taxed Divid actually dividend is the um, the profit which is being given uh, the to the shareholders it's a part of the profit which is be which is given to shareholders another uh, disadvantage of um, uh, st uh, joint stock company is that um, majority of time uh, there is a delayed in a decision making process because there are lost of managerial uh, layers in the uh, business uh, you have to may get approval from each level of management and uh, in, in this case uh, your decision is delayed the company cannot make quick decisions and uh, power is centralized because there are few people who had major portions of company shares uh, and uh, there, this is actually a dilemma because um, um, uh, there are many people there are many companies nowadays uh, which in which uh, the, the 50 or 60 percent shares are being acquired by few people uh, so in that case uh, the decision uh, decision are being uh, centralized and the decision are being taken by a uh, few people uh, so this is another advantage disadvantages of joint stock company uh, there are two type of limited companies uh, one is public limited company and the other one is a private limited company and there is difference between uh, uh, both of these um, uh, com companies uh, like uh, in case of number of members uh, for a public limited company minimum number of members are seven but in a private uh, limited company minimum number of members are um, two so um, 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 issue of uh, shares public limited company is bound to promote issue of shares to general public through media but uh, there is no such provision for a private limited uh, company uh, like uh, um, when we talk about public limited company uh, uh, at least seven people uh, should be there in order to start a public limited company but uh, the in case of a private limited company uh, the two people can start their private limited company 
and in case of issues of uh, issue uh, issue of shares the public company uh, limited company can offer publish their shares publicly uh, through media or they can take the help of any investment bank in order to uh, sell their shares but there is no such provision for a private limited company uh, they can do it privately uh the name of the company in case of name of the company a public limited company have to add uh, the word limited ltd with their name but in the case of private limited the company uh, they have to write private limited with their name in case of annual report the public limited company have to present their data to the general public because as they have um, uh, issued their share to the general public uh, so th there is obligation uh, for public limited company uh, to show their annual report or uh, pub uh, to publicize their annual report to uh, uh, after every year uh, every year and this report should be audited uh, internally and externally um, external auditors uh, through external auditor and uh, Uh, there is no such provision for a private limited company the private limited company has no such obligation uh, as th this obligation is only for a, a public limited company in case of uh, transfer of shares um in case of public limited company it is easy to transfer share in public limited company uh, because uh, if you want to sell your share uh, you can sell your share uh, easily through um, uh, going into uh, stock exchange and uh, sell your share or uh, buy any other company's share but in case of private limited company shareholder cannot transfer the share without the consent of other members you have to get the consent of other members and after that you will be able to uh, get the I get uh, get uh, get to transfer the share uh, to any other person okay in case of statute statutory meeting uh, and what is a statutory meeting it is the first meeting of the shareholders of public uh, company it must be held within a period within a period of not less than 1 month nor more than 6 uh, months uh, from the date at which the company is entitled to commence a business uh, it is held only once in the lifetime of a company uh, so uh, it's uh, obligatory for a uh, public limited company to held a statutory meeting uh, but there is no such obligation for a uh, private limited company Uh, another um, aspect uh, another uh, difference is a uh, submission of annual report as uh, it is obligatory for the uh, public limited company to submit their annual report to registrar um, corporate law authority uh, because um, the annual report is mandatory and uh, the, and this annual report has to be at public uh, and uh, the, and it is the um, uh, it is the legal requirement of public limited company to submit their annual report to registrar so but it is not necessary for um, a private limited company in case of taxation uh, public limited company uh, pays double taxation at uh, different income tax rate because uh, um, when uh, the when the company um, declares its profit Uh, so um, at that time uh, after the declaration of profit um, they have to uh, they have to um, uh, pay taxes on that profit and uh, after the paying taxes uh, they'll uh, uh, decide that how much amount of money should be reinvested in the business and how much amount of money should be distribution distributed among its shareholders and the amount of uh, profit which is distributed distributed among shareholders is actually called as dividend and and this dividend is also tax taxable uh, and uh, the, the the personal taxes has to be pay on uh, these uh, dividends but in the case of private limited company the private uh, company pays only on uh, one uh, uh, tax uh, pays tax only once at different income uh, tax rates uh, so there is no such uh, problem in case of um, the private limited company though they don't have a double taxation uh, issue